Hi, my name is Dr Jenny Wakeley. I'm an NHS GP and I also specialise in dermatology. I also run a company called The Beauty Doctor, specialising in aesthetic treatments and dermatological advice as well. So I'm here to talk about how to get rid of pimples fast. Um, obviously it depends on the, the, how big the pimple is, how quickly you can get rid of it, but there are some ways of minimising the incidence of pimples and, and obviously how to get rid of them. So first you need some a good skin care routine. So you need to always cleanse, tone, moisturise I'm afraid and also exfoliate regularly. So when you cleanse, so you need to probably use a, an exfoliating gel wash. So that'll do the exfoliating and the cleansing as well. The uh, lotion ones that you use without washing can tend to leave a bit of a residue and make the skin a bit too oily. As people who, get, who tend to get pimples tend to have either combination or oily skin. So I would probably recommend either an, an aloe vera based exfoliating gel, um, which there's a company called Forever and they do a very good one which I use. Um, or something used by a company called Cess Derma, who, who have a Mandelac facial scrub, which works really well. Mandelac is a very, very, very gentle, similar to a fruit acid, um, so it takes away the dead skin layers as well and, and just clears out the pores. So then when you tone, you also want to use something that's going to be slightly antiseptic, such as witch hazel, um, and also something slightly anti-inflammatory as well if you've got spots. So again, an aloe vera based uh, toner made by Forever is very good as well. Uh, then you want to moisturise. Now some people think that if you've got pimples, you've got oily skin, you shouldn't moisturise. But actually, you ought to because if your skin is dry, your skin will compensate by producing too much oil. And the oil will then clog up the pores, the bacteria will proliferate and give you a spot. So you do need to moisturise, but I would again use uh, a water-based moisturiser, which is not too oily, something like aloe vera moisturising lotion um, is ideal. Um, so I've already covered the exfoliating. If you exfoliate every day in a gel wash, that's perfectly safe. For clearing spots specifically, um, there's various over-the-counter preparations that you can buy. Basically I would aim for something with zinc or benzoyl peroxide or nicotinamide in the active ingredients list. Um, one of the products I use is a Neostrata Focal Spot Cream, that's very good. Um, also you can buy something called Freedom which has got nicotinamide in it. And Dermalogica do a, um, a few spot, focal spot treatment gels as well. The only thing with uh, benzoyl peroxide is that it can bleach your clothes and bed sheets, so you just need to be a bit careful if you're putting it on at night. Um, then there's various antibiotic creams which either can be given alone or in combination with benzoyl peroxide or zinc. These do need to be prescribed by a doctor, so you can go to your GP, the GP will sh should be happy to prescribe them for you. Um, and you use them either once or twice a day, depending. Um, you can also use um, vitamin A based creams like Retin-A, Tretinoic Acid or Azelaic Acid is also a similar type of cream. <clears throat> they can be used in conjunction with the antibiotic creams that I mentioned above, either once or twice a day, depending. The only thing with the Retin-A based creams is they will cause some sensitivity to the sun, so you, you do need to use SPF. They can also sometimes cause redness, drying of the skin, or sometimes make the spots worse initially within the first few days as your skin gets used to it. But then as, as you continue using it, then it should settle down and just use your water-based moisturiser if there is some dryness. The only thing I would say about the vitamin A based creams is that you mustn't really use it if you're planning a pregnancy or if you're pregnant because that can cause some developmental disorders in early pregnancy. So the next step up is to use um, antibiotic tablets. Um, the dosages are much smaller than your regular antibiotic dose so much safer to use. You usually need to use them between at least six weeks to four months and some of them have side effects. It, depends on the individual, it's a bit of trial and error depending on how you tolerate them, but most of them are very well tolerated. So the ones that I would tend to use are either minocycline or limecycline 
or erythromycin or clarithromycin. Minocycline I tend to not use on darker skin people because you can, there is a risk of um, hyperpigmentation, so darker pigmentation within the skin. Then if you're a woman, then the contraceptive pill or Dynet, which is a type of contraceptive pill, especially for acne, um, can be used as well and that can address the hormone imbalances that can cause spots. And then going on from that, Roaccutane, which is um, a fairly strong oral medication, which needs to be actually prescribed by a consultant dermatologist. So you do need to go to your GP and ask to be referred to a consultant dermatologist who will then start it. It is a fairly strong treatment, but it can work. It may not completely take away your acne, but it, it will improve it significantly. It's only to be used for a period of a few months only, and it needs you, you do need to have blood tests done to monitor your liver function and also your um, fat content called triglycerides within your body because those are two side effects that we need to make sure don't happen and they can often it can also dry your skin a little bit um, and you do need to put Vaseline on your mouth and around your nose um, to avoid dryness so anyways I hope that helps with your treatment of your spot but I hope you don't get spots in the first place <laughs>